So in this video, I try to connect the iPad Pro with the Dawson paper like HDFT. So we're trying to use this as an e-ink display for the iPad. Connection is not the easiest thing to do. So there's a mini, this, this cable is the cable for the paper like. And I believe it's the only cable you can use because you have to have a mini HDMI input for the video and power signal, and one power, one for video, the full-size HDMI and a USB. So let's connect this one here. Okay. And for iPad, which has a USB-C port, I have the dongle here. This is the Apple dongle. And um, they both recommend using the you know, first party accessory. I'm not sure if this is necessary. So I connect the power and video in the same. Let's see if it can work. Okay, I think it's uh, enough. Okay, it already started working. So iPad has enough power to drive this. But for some reason, only the center part of the Dawson paper like HDFT is used. So can you open it up? Okay. So let's try different modes here. So this is M1, which is black and white, not the ideal mode for iPad. So this is M4, which is a fast refresh rate, but a lot of ghosting. iPad is not at all optimized for e-ink. So let's try to play a video. So, okay, also no sound. For some reason, no sound. Ah, this is bad. So if I want to use iPad with this screen, I don't have sound. Is there a way to let iPad using the iPad speaker? Um, I don't know. Let's try full screen. Oh, this is full screen already. Hmm. So let's change to a different mode here. This is M3. Do the full refresh. Well, oh, I, I think the performance is quite impressive. Let's have a look at M2. Mm, not so good. M1, definitely not good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But let's try to change. Let's try M3 with some fast action. So yeah, look at the colorful screen. Look at the boring black and white screen. I will never watch video on this, so let's stop this. So the issue is very clear. You cannot make full use of this screen. And uh, other than that, you can start a note. And because this is iPad, it only lets you to mirror the screen. It's not designed as a, you know, extends your screen. So that's also a limitation here. So iPad with paper like HD, my verdict is 
it works but not that well you can use this as a typewriter so you have your ipad connected to the dasa and you connect a keyboard and mouse to ipad so you can use the mouse see and you can use the keyboard typing how to change change my typing input to English so you cannot change the size on it let's try to M2 So right now it's M4 fast plus. M4 fast plus. The texts are not sharp at all. So M3. M3 mode. M2. I think M2 is a is a more balanced mode. The text is sharp enough. I would say sharp enough is uh, acceptable. And the refresh rate is okay too. So mouse is usable. So M1 mouse is it's also okay if you if you get used to it, it's okay. So this is one potential use case of the iPad Pro and the DOS on display. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.